Hi guys, welcome to this uh, quick trick here. I'm going to use a small packet of cards and tell you a little story using these about this guy here. This is Convict 99 and he was also known by the nickname of Houdini. Why? Because he was also known as a great escape artist. And you can see he's surrounded by prison guards and in fact to make it harder for him to attempt an escape we'll place one of the prison guards outside patrolling the grounds. That left us with the so-called Houdini of the cell block along with the prison guards and you can see that they surrounded his cell so there was no escape not even from the rear of the prison he couldn't escape anywhere he was also known as Houdini because he used to like to hide and on occasions the guards just couldn't find him anywhere but of course that was just an illusion because of course he could never escape the walls of his prison cell. As rumour has it that he did plan escape one evening as darkness fell and you could see him sitting in his prison cell during the night but by morning quick as a flash the alarm sounded the guards raced to his cell and as a guard entered his cell he was gone he wasn't there and as he looked up he could see the bars were broken the great Houdini of the cell block had gone he wasn't there he wasn't there or there or there he was totally gone escaped and so it would appear that he lived up to his legend that he was the greatest escape artist of all time. So here's the tutorial for this small packet effect. It's a great little trick. Um, kids love it and so do adults. It just makes a little bit of a change from the regular playing cards. Now you will have to make up some cards for the effect but I'll give you all the details about that and I'll show you the cards in a moment. But don't forget, you can download this particular instruction booklet which gives you all the details about the cards, the handling and the pattern. And that's absolutely free. There'll be a link down the bottom. Also, the cards that are required, if you're not very good at drawing, you can also download this sheet which is in a link below the video also uh, and you can print this out. Now you can either print it on card and cut them out or print it on paper and stick them onto some playing cards. But what about the cards? Let's take a look at the cards that we use. Well, if we go through these, let me just show you these first of all. I tend to use blank faced playing cards. These are just three regular backs and on the faces are the three prison officers. There's also another regular backed card that has a picture of the prisoner doing a runner. And finally there's a double faced card which on one side has the prisoner behind bars and on the other side the broken bars. And the way that this is laid out is that you put the runner, then the three guards and then with the prisoner behind the bars facing uppermost. You have the cards face down. Now this particular trick I'm going to quickly go through the routine because you can always watch the presentation to see uh, how it progressed. But it does involve two slides, the Elmsley count and also the double lift. I'm not going to explain those on this video. There will be a link up the top here that you can click on to view uh, a video that I did on the Elmsley count. So this is how it works, it's just a, a sequence of events. You start off with the cards face down. When you spread these, just don't spread the last card because they'll spot the double facer. So just spread a few of the cards, say you're going to tell a story, you flip them over and talk about this convict here. Now I do spread the card to give them a glimpse of the 
prison guard just below it. And you talk about a great escape artist along with the prison officers here. You flip the whole pack over and do a double lift. You're going to give the illusion that you're going to put this prison guard down on the table. So you do a double lift and then deal that down there. We've actually put the card containing the runner. That's down there. You flip the cards face up and you say along with the prisoner are the guards that are going to guard him. You do an Elmsley count at this point to show that the guards surround the cell. You flip the cards face down and perform another Elmsley count to show apparently four plain backs. The two cards that you deal last of all don't go on top, they go to the bottom. You flip the whole pack over, talk about that sometimes he vanishes and you do an Elmsley to show four guards. You perform another Elmsley which will then reintroduce the prisoner because it was just an illusion. Now this is the final part of the trick. You're going to take this card out and put it on top. Notice how I've got the cards slightly fanned. As I square the cards I'm going to get a little finger break under here and square the cards up. If I lift up these I've got two cards there and this is because I want to give the illusion that when I say nightfall on the routine I turn over the bottom cards. I want to give the illusion that I'm turning over all the cards except the prisoner card. I'm actually only turning over two. You turn these over and put them on there. You then put one of them to the bottom so you've kind of sandwiched in there, let me just spread the card so you can see that, you've sandwiched in between the two face up cards to face down. So when you do the Elmsley count, it appears that among the face down cards is the prisoner. You repeat the Elmsley when you realise there's been a breakout and it appears to the audience that the card has magically changed from the prisoner to the prison guard. You can pull that out, flip him over to show the back in case they think he was on the back and then finally you turn the whole pack over to reveal the broken bars. Now you can do a buckle here to show the back of this uh, I feel that you don't need to do that because they've already seen the backs so you can just drop that onto the table. The other officers you can drop on there, they're just normal and then as the kicker finish you turn over to reveal that the prisoner is doing a runner and that's the packet effect. Now a couple of things on here that are worth mentioning, first of all in the routine, I use the name Houdini. I have to be honest, when I marketed this effect 20 odd years ago, uh, it seemed quite appropriate to say Houdini. I've noticed recently when doing this pack effect for younger audiences, there are quite a lot of youngsters that don't know who the man Houdini is. And so, of course, it, it means absolutely nothing to them when you talk about an escape artist, Houdini. So, um, you might want to change that. I hope you enjoy this and don't forget to download the instructions. Have a play around. You might want to change the pattern to suit your own presentation style. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Practice and enjoy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the reminder every week we upload videos.